What's going on pros? This is Mike with another dirty promotion video. Actually a very, very special dirty promotion video. I've never done this on the tube, but I'm going to do it because there is an absence of videos uh, demonstrating people on these particular windows, Dodges, Peanuts, and uh, Ryan Edgar. We talked about it a couple of days about Peanuts and how to handle them or not, stuff like that. Well, um, sometimes Peanuts will be part of the game. People say they never get peanuts, that's cool, but I've never seen a video or, you know, any, any flick that uh, pretty much uh, shows no peanut process, whatever. So I'm going to do this uh, in front of the tube for everybody. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. Uh, well, not short, I'm going to do it in sections. And uh, the reason for that is because it will take a while. So one of the things that you will need is this window maybe it broke or something i have no idea it doesn't have any film the rest of the car does so he come came back just for the back window so what we're going to do here is that one of the things rules and stuff that i say all the time about these cars any cars in order for you to get a good hit start on this bullshit, is that go ahead and pre-soak dish soap a little bit heavy on it and put it on the inside you can do a little bit of alcohol do it on the inside for meanwhile right now so it can start soaking the vehicle and whatever crud is on the defroster it will be pretty much softened so when i come back and do a little bit of uh scrubbing it'll be very easy the shit will be removed instead of trying to back blade and do other stuff that it sounds good for the pros but for a lot of the 101s 102s and even advanced installers back blading i've heard some friends of mine that said they fucked up the defroster so i don't want you to do that let's go ahead and soak this guy we're gonna leave it here for a while okay some of the tools you're gonna need for the back window as you already know that this is a very long window you can go forward more but as all professionals know some people that have watches when you go deep in there sometimes your watch will scratch the tent or something will happen so use a tool that will reach at least to the bottom so we got that you will need one of these guys for sure because a lot of these windows when you're trying to clean them you do a very poor job because your fingers don't reach all the way to the bottom and then the tool that is in the factory which is like this is not bent this i bent it myself with a curve so it can have a lot more power at the bottom right so i'm going to use this at the end i'm sorry at the beginning to scrub it but right now i'm going to leave it soaking okay this just in case this guy doesn't reach but i'm sure he will then i might use this and of course just my trusty tools of installation typical you know just presser and stuff like that and that's about it man this will be the scrub pad i'll use you know typical scrub pad i'll leave them there let's let me go outside and uh start working on this okay so the back window i haven't done anything to it so the very first thing i'm gonna do is get rid of all the dirt and bullshit that's on the surface just like that where i'm using lumar atc five percent so this film is uh workable it's not a mystery polyester like some people that have uh films with weird names and they ask me what they are and i really do not know what they are i have no idea what's in the box at least with lumar and some of the Garware products, you do know what's in the box. And uh, and you know that the uh, polyester construction is good enough that it'll do what you need it to do. Okay, I do have a little bit of a sauce here for the shrinking. Use whatever sauce you guys need um, from, uh, from soap and this and that and whatever. I prepare something for intermediate not so difficult windows which is this one so i'll do that right now okay well actually i don't want to leave it there because when the customer sees me and he'll get pissed all right all right we're there Now, don't confuse this with my dirty sauce that I sell on my site. The dirty sauce that I actually sell on my site is for very difficult windows and difficult polyesters that stick to the glass. Those would be like SunTech ceramic. I've used it, and that thing, you guys already know, it sticks real bad to the glass regardless of what you use. The dirty sauce is used for that one. So this is not, this is just another concoction of stuff that I have, okay?
Okay, let's go ahead and go to the inside and start working with this real quick. Oh man, where are you? There it is. Okay. A little bit of this. Look at that. This guy here. Meanwhile. Okay. Promise on this bottom portion. So I'm doing it uh, the cleaning and everything because people want to know well, maybe clean more, clean less. The type of scrubber is just whatever scrubber you find what i find to be important and to be king is the uh the actual soaking that i find it to be the most helpful according to what i've done here so and all that stuff is done just right here we'll do for the top like that Put it here So those dots with the uh, dish detergent should be able to remove a lot of the grime and grease that's up there. Okay. Okay. Pretty much finishing the preparation of the window. I want to reach the bottom here. So, I'm going to move this guy here. Okay. Reach all the way to the bottom. We're good. Okay. I'm gonna do it this way so that the water can fall on my rag here. Okay, we're done as far as the prep of the glass. So that thing is done. I'm gonna put this guy here for a second. I'm gonna get this long guy here. I'm gonna touch the bottom all the way across. So when I Cali roll it, I know for a fact it's gonna be no contaminants. There I could barely touch it, so I'm gonna do that. Same thing right there. Pretty much done. Okay, let's go outside and uh, that thing is ready to roll. Okay.
pensabas que era lechita, papi. Okay. Get the wetness out of there. ATR 5%. Man, I'm too short. This wing doesn't help, eh? Okay, let's get this guy over here. All right, here we are. The bottom. And there's a bunch of stickers on the bottom, but I've never had those affect me before, so I don't think they should affect me now. Okay, let's see what's up with this film. I'll put these guys here. I don't need them. So as I was explaining to Mr. Ryan Edgar about how, how much do you go up with your with this thing when you're pressing it and whatever and I told him if you heat shrink two inches at a time you go up with this about an inch and a half. So you won't be fake shrinking areas that will come back and lift up in the defrosters aka peanuts or whatever other else you guys want to call it so thoroughly 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 all the way for sure I promise you Ryan Edgar that if I get a car that I would work on it and here it is okay now the bottom portion Okay, the reason I'm heat shrinking right here on the video is because there's nothing special that I'm doing as far as the shrink. Uh, but right now, what I'm going to do right now is going to be a little bit important. Okay, I'm going to stop this thing right now. Not the video, but the shrinking. But I'm going to show you something that we discuss and talk about. How do I know like this here is it going to be a peanut? Well, we don't know. And you're 100% this might become a peanut and all that kind of stuff. We're going to do right now, I'm going to do something that's called a check shrink. And we can do it with water, which is what is done a lot of times. What does that mean? Did I over shrink this film? Did I not shrink it enough? I'm going to find out right now. So I'm going to unstick it and put it back the way it was. And if it lays like this perfectly, then I did not over shrink it. I already told all my colleagues, when you do this, 
and you let it go and this this thing wants to keep on snapping up that means you're over shrinking the film meaning that when you're doing this with a heat gun you're leaving the heat gun too long in the same spot so you're over shrinking so this stuff is going to snap so all the content and people that ask me about what the fuck do i do about the sides that are keeping snapping on this car it doesn't matter what car it is it really doesn't matter okay if you're using that method of pre-soaking and you're using this thing right here for cleaning your sides and if you're really doing a job your job of cleaning the sides and the bottom appropriately because i'm not looking at what you're doing then you shouldn't have this unsticking stuff like right now when i squeegee like that just pretend i'm squeegeeing it's going to be good and down on the bottom okay this right here as you can see all the little bullshit where my gun passes and whatever and this is not 100 percent done so let me tell you if you want to waste a little bit more time but something that is called check shrink you can do this watch this watch a little bit of water put them back down and we're going to worry about this bottom section right now so that's what i'm going to do let me get this deal right here ah, here it is okay any of these guys right here so i'm going to go ahead and do this i'm going to go ahead and do this well the water is so you can actually slide right man this pump right here is really killing me i can't do much anyway so I'll do that that okay we're good that side i haven't worked on so this side is the one that i want to do a check shrink with you in front of the tube so this is what people call a check shrink let's go ahead and do this and this air that i'm going to capture in the middle i'm going to dance this air around and get rid of all these fucking uh, ripples that look all fucked up and whatever i'm going to do it right now with a heat gun so that thing is wet right now so this is your check shrink or your other shrink that might get rid of all whatever do this dancing this is your dancing as i'm going through with the air under it you can see that these things will disappear watch this you see that it came out real smooth so i'm gonna go ahead and move this guy over there get rid of those ripples right there like that and then move them down a little bit get rid of those ripples blah 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 blah, blah. and all i'm doing is getting rid of the ripples i'm not re-shrinking the film again because then it would be over shrank watch those guys disappear in front of your eyes i'm gonna move them up and to the left right here there okay now as you can see this motherfucker is bald as a baby's ass really 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 nice okay you can do this quadrant 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 over there and whatever i'm gonna put the video on stop I'm going to fin finish heat shrinking it. I'm not going to check shrink that side. We can see what goes on here. We can see what goes on. There's air in there. So with air also, I trap air. And you can see all the fucking horrible ripples that maybe people don't want to see. Use the air. Make it dance for you. And then do that. And pretty much all the rip ripples are out of the way. There's some more little ripples there. There you go. You see right before your eyes are disappearing that's what you call check shrinking meaning you got to do it again with a little bit of air in certain spots that you don't feel so comfortable that you did so great whatever so there it is check shrunk a little bit here all this area i'm going to work on that and i'm going to come back i'm going to cali roll it install it and then i'm going to go ahead and press, uh, continue with the video so i'm going to squeegee it in front of you if you see some peanuts or not then i'm going to show you how to get rid of them all right i'm back rolled i'm going to go ahead and put water install it and let's see what's up here's my deal i'm gonna put them right here for one second put this guy here for a second put this guy here on the floor for a second okay bye okay so <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna go and saturate this pretty good. Your favorite slip, just put a little bit more because, well, it's about 100 degrees right now. About 96 in McAllen, Texas. So there's my deal there. Let me get my pattern here and do this right here. These cars are 
just a little bit cramped but they're not hard i'm just gonna want to show you the check shrink the peanuts the ana all that kind of stuff i'm roll it enough so you can do this and uh put your head under it roll them all the way to the bottom lo más que se pueda the most you can para mi audiencia de latinoamérica vamos a ponerlo casi todo hasta abajo no y luego ya que está aquí vamos a moverlo así ok abajo abajo aquí there you go and then make contact and unroll it all the way across like this make contact make contact make contact unroll it all the way across put your head under it that way the film doesn't fall and with your hands a system to be where it needs to be at as far as the bottom goes okay i do know that i got this layer of of the uh, liner so i'm gonna go ahead and remove it right now there you go he's positioned pretty much almost exclusively where i need him so i'm gonna do that and this heavy weight of the um liner remove them out of there so you don't be fucking with my film anymore drag them down and shit okay all right with my hands as you can see there is a film on the edge okay right there I'm gonna massage him so he can get me exactly there you go no no gaps of light there you go here all the way to the bottom there you go massage him into place here massage this into place a little bit to the left here That's why you need a lot of slip because of this right here. Que a veces no se quiere mover. Ahí está. Muy poquito. I don't want to paint that corner. I don't want them to be covered naturally. There you go. Now, now we're done. Okay, vamos a acariciar todo acá. Acá está, 100% perfect. I'm gonna put a little bit more slip because it's really dried out just on the surface. I'm gonna do this right here. The film is under there. Ya está. <clears throat> These cards require all your attention, all your experience, and a very good lay. If if you start squeegeeing it right now. And if there is a dry spot somewhere, you're going to crease it. There it is. Okay. 100% licked and sticked or stuck or any of those. A little bit more slip here. Okay. All right. We're sweating here so we see water flying. Let me get my trusted guy here. We're going to start here in the center. Down all the way up down all the way up okay and then we're going to center out okay angle angle but distribution make it a good distribution not a bad one there he is there you go I'm going to remove this because I can't see what I'm doing and you can't either. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this straight down. Straight down. Straight down, straight down. All the way to the edge, edge, edge. So. Okay.
one swipe and he's pretty much all the way across all the way down he's already out so let's take care of this side now just make sure he's not dried out so we're good centering out centering out Maneuver the squeegee, whichever you want, the result will be the same. Distribution is key. So out, 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 out. Okay, so now again, just a tad of water here, and then touch them like this. All the way down nothing to be a problem and pretty much done let me dry this momentarily okay, for those of you guys that have some tool similar flat let's go ahead and do finish off our things like this so you can absorb water if you don't have one it's a good idea to get one so that everything on the side don't be opening up dry it up with one of these like this like this 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 out 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 all the way all the way out okay so now let me just go ahead and uh, dry the bottom real quick Let's go outside and let's see if there's any peanuts and stuff. ATC, which is Lumar, and uh, nothing on the top, nothing on the side. As you can see, we did our thing with that uh, all in one tool. It can be any tool, no matter. And there it is, right here in front of your eyes. One peanut, and I'm glad he came out because this is the way. Ryan Edgar, I told you to go to my videos and kill that guy. Let me get my gun and take care of this guy right now. Get one of these guys right here. My employees use it. I use it in my office when I create tools. Okay. Get one of these guys. There is a peanut coming out here and here. We do this. Put him here. Do this right here. So I told you I cannot guarantee whether I'm gonna go peanutless or not. And people say I never get a peanut. Well, I don't know what that means, but that peanut that is there, you can see it kind of like almost laid down. I have one thing right here and here. What we're doing is we're walking the air all the way out, that's all. And at the same time it will stick because it's very hot. Like that with a hard card. That way you don't scratch it with this Teflon. And pretty much these guys are gone. I have a very thin one, but I'm gonna let them dry out and then do my thing again. There's no more peanuts anywhere here in this section, okay. And again, the same thing, I'm over here. There's no peanuts. Peanuts normally come out a couple of minutes. Some people will do the defroster. I'm gonna just roll this car outside. It can be in the sun. I'm gonna walk outside with the car. And if I see a peanut coming out, I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go ahead and do about yay much of heat. That's it. Press them out like that. And of course, the peanut is still not out. He's already pretty much killed on the spot, two, three seconds. Instead of check shrinking or uh, half an hour later whatever waste of time just do it right you will learn you will get it along the way how to heat shrink better practice makes, makes perfect and then one of these uh tricks dirty tricks 
we'll get rid of all his penis in, turn this guy in, and make some fucking money. Guys, have a great day. GoPro, stop recording.